today is the day after the food for thought cruise it was a lot of fun um we started it out with a map that was like about 15 miles um it was very very straightforward i figured that we had different levels of drivers you know we have some people that you know have been on cruises before and then we had some people that have never been on cruises before uh so it was important to make it very simple which i think i did a very good job of making it simple um in some ways probably too simple but you know the object was to collect as much food as we could uh for the metropolitan ministries here in tampa i do think if i was to rate it from a one to a ten uh we probably would fall somewhere between like a four or five ish um, we planned it pretty safe and we planned it in a way to not have like a huge traffic jam or any of that kind of stuff um, so i think we did a very good job at you know timing everything a certain way um, but there was just generally a lot of homies that wanted the support so like we received a lot of monetary donations um rather than food donations um personally me i hate going to grocery stores i hate shopping um so it would have done me better uh to have people bring the actual items um so you know shout out to the winners we have a first second and a third place winner uh first place winner won a hundred dollars um second place winner won a 50 dollars gift card which she turned around and donated back into the metropolitan ministries so that's where i'm actually about to go right now i'm about to go pick up the 50 dollars gift card which she wanted the target gift card and after i pick up that gift card we're going to take all the stuff over here to the metropolitan ministries today is also the day of the s1 built uh farewell to 2020 meet um i'm gonna try to make it out there but one of my guys uh surprised me with a ticket to the bucks game so we're actually going to be going to the bucks game actually right after i do all this typically that's how my life goes i typically have like three or four different things lined up and i try to make it all happen um so if we for somehow get out of the bucks game uh at a decent time um i think what we might do is just drive over there and catch the tail end of it but sona and the guys i mean they're like family to me so I mean, I don't need a meet to meet these guys. Um, I literally see these guys probably more than most of you would probably even know. Um, but most definitely, uh, part of supporting is also going out and showing love when they host these things. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff going on. So food for thought. Um, it, this is day two of food for thought. I didn't do any recording yesterday. Uh, we were just so damn busy, um, you know, and I was just engaging, man. Like, it, it, like I'm one of the people that I'd rather be there than to put something together just for YouTube. You know, I understand YouTubers, that's their life, um, but it's not my life. Uh, we use it to document, but you know, for you to really get like uh, step by step layout of my day, I would have to pay someone to come out here and, and record me. And you know, I I like to think I'm an interesting dude, but I don't think y'all y'all wanna see all that about me. You know what I'm saying? Um, or maybe you do, who knows? You could leave that in the comment if you wanna see all that about me. Um, but yeah, let's head out to Target and um, get the $50 gift card. Um, and then after we get the gift card, we're going to go ahead and pull up to the Metropolitan Ministries. They're open between 11 and 5. Uh, today is Sunday. So if you want to take stuff to them, go ahead and do that. Um, as you can tell, we already have some stuff back here. Um, like I said, it's not a lot of stuff, but it's, you know, it's a start. You know, do I honestly think that we will do another one of these cruises next year uh maybe we might I, I i don't know i know we have our hands full next year we're possibly going to be doing another event other than summer vibes and Winterfest. um you know in a different area of florida <laughs> plug it like that um we're really really working towards uh doing an event in the south so you hear it first you hear it here first uh we're definitely aiming for the south and um i have a pretty good concept of what to expect and i think that everyone will like it and it will be one of those game-changing events in my opinion because of the layout and the fact that it may not have been done before uh but enough of me blabbling like you know i know i y'all know now that i love to talk so we'll go ahead and get to target so that way we can get um moving and be on time uh for the bucks game okay appreciate you guys checking this out make sure you like and subscribe i mean i normally don't i normally don't say it but I would expect it to be known, you know, as far as YouTubers, you guys typically know the like and subscribe. So 
I figured if you're watching this much of my content, then you probably already liked. Um, if you've already subscribed, you probably just, that's how you found out. And um, I guess the only other benefit to us would be for you to share it so that, you know, other supporters that support the ILDS movement, we'll just call them members. Um, so other members uh, could actually, you know, see what we have going on and, you know, engage and let us know. Cause you know, ultimately a lot of the branding concepts I feel come from the people that support us. I have a lot of cool ideas, but at the end of the day, if I'm doing things for you guys, I need to know what you guys want me to do. Um, you know, that's that. But uh, yeah, man, thank you for coming along. Uh, for everybody that donated, thank you so much. And uh, let's get to Target. I can't show you this part. All right, so the deed is done. $50 gift card. Uh, we're gonna make our way over to the Metropolitan Ministries to go ahead and do this whole donation situation. Um, so I'm gonna take you along with me and uh, yeah, should be a good time. Yeah, but first we gotta get some gas. So, yeah, this mammoth of a car needs gas quite frequently. So, there we are. It needs a wash too, but that's okay. We're gonna have some automotive car care products coming out soon, so make sure to look out for that. entrance so I got to go around and then <laughs> hopefully we can donate this stuff damn I can imagine if I was driving a slam car this would have sucked finally we are in the right spot Thank you. 
It kind of stinks out here. What's going on, man? Making a donation. Just go straight. Thank you. There's a lot of people here. Volunteers, police. Guys, they have a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. They got a lot of food in there. So it's good. You? Yeah, I got off a of camera. I, I don't know. I don't think they want to be on my YouTube. But this is awesome, bro. It's a lot of cool stuff going on. How's it going? Okay, perfect. And let me get this stuff. Let me, if you don't, she's taking the stuff out right now. So let me make sure she takes it. You want to get one with the stuff too? That's cool. Okay. Okay, it's, a, oh, it's just a video. Oh, sure. I just got. Yeah. Here, you want to take a photo? It's okay. Yeah, it's all the yeah. yeah, all the car. It's a $50 gift card. Okay. Yeah. All you car people. Put yeah, put that there. And then we'll put it in a car gift card. It's not a lot. I'm sure we could no, have brought a whole a bunch. Lot. Look at your pet. I love driving slow. That's it. He did a. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. We promote. We do events in Tampa. Oh, really? We shut down Seventh Avenue in Ebor, and we do a car show there. Oh, cool. You track events here and there. He said nobody drives slow, which is so true. Yeah. Like what's the rush? Especially in Florida. Exactly. These people are crazy. It's just to get the young. It's just to get the young guys that want to go fast to go to the track. That's all it is. That makes sense. Yeah. See. It says get mad. I love driving slow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys too. <laughs> this just did a drop off. It's a good feeling. I uh, just wanted to share it with you guys. Thanks again. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yo, just made the drop off. Uh, yo, man, it's a surreal feeling. Um, I know that we didn't see the actual people getting the food, but to see the line of people that were there actually trying to get the food, I think is surreal. Like, I, I know with the amount of money invested, you know, to set everything up and the amount of food that we collected, um, you know, they're varying. You know, my thought process was you know, spend about 500 bucks. So it's really how to do a car show for less than a thousand dollars. And uh, it wasn't really a car show, but again, it that's kind of the vibe that people ended up kind of leaning towards because as you could tell, a lot of people did show up, but not a lot of people did the donations. Um, so my, my whole thought process was, if I do this thing for 500 bucks, or less or whatever the price was to set it up, I could possibly collect more food than taking that amount of money and buying food myself. So in essence, it, it's a break even kind of situation because in light of donating all those things, we do get, you know, uh, a tax receipt you know it, it it you know it it is what it is but you know i think that knowing that i did something positive in a year where we've been filled with so much negativity and just all this craziness that's been going on um it it definitely sits well in my heart to know that you know we did something good you know what i mean so as far as if we're going to do this again next year man i really i really really want to uh, continue it because I, I hate doing events where it's just a one-time event thing I, I really do but um for what it for what it's worth you guys tell me what you think think about the idea of all your friends getting together cruising to somewhere on the way there's some stops um, you got to pick up food and uh, based on the food that you pick up you pretty much have the ability to win based on the most weight uh, there are certain stipulations and like you can't get money duplicates more than two duplicates um and things like that you know I, I don't think it necessarily needs a prize but just for the fact of collecting stuff and giving it away like we said don't spend more than 20 bucks clearly people want to spend more than 20 bucks but 20 bucks in my opinion 
provides, you know, if everybody chips in 20 bucks and you have at least 20, 30, 40, 50 people, you know, from event host from an event host perspective, from spending 500 bucks and you have people donate $20 each and you have 50 people, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 in my opinion, it, it just becomes a, that much easier to, 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 to collect more, you know? It, it becomes that much easier because even with half of those people collect food, you're still collecting more food than if you spent $500 yourself, you know what I mean? And then people are crafty. Like some people really took it to the point of getting the the weight situation some people lean on the you know the whole let me go ahead and do all the scavengers and kind of like you know budget this out so i thought it was pretty freaking cool and um the thing with hosting events is that people will learn if you're even interested in hosting an event the first time you do something that's the monumental part like that's where you learn that's where you 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 tweak that's where you fix that's where you determine if it's even worth doing it again. So I say all that to say this. Um, today's Sunday, December 13th. I made a big donation. Uh, I, you know, I spent a little bit of money. A bunch of car friends and supporters came by. They donated a bunch of stuff. Someone, you know, gave their winnings back to the donation, which is pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, we did this for Tampa, man. I, you know, it, it's big. I just got the email from Metropolitan Ministries. Um, they're supposed to tell me how much everything weighs. I'm going to post it in the in the video. But, um, you know, whether it be a ton, you know, or whatever. You know, I think the fact that we did it and the ladies, you heard it in their voices. And when they heard that a car group came together and donated food, she was like, whoa, every little bit counts. Don't worry about how much it is. She's like, no, this is great. They were happy. And for me, that's worth it. So... Thanks for watching this video. Um, I try to get a little bit of B-roll so it's not a whole bunch of me talking. Um, I'm out here in Tampa uh, near Blake High School. Yo, they got some views. I think if you want to do some photos, I think I just found a spot. And I think I'm going to do some photos here. I think I'm going to bring the team out here and get some nice photos. Hopefully, I can get somebody to come out here before the end of the year. But this spot is prime. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Look at this spot. Like, you can literally get the whole skyline in this shot. This is pretty freaking awesome. About to take a ride in this dual motor Tesla today. It's gonna be a fun time. Thank you, bro. Hey, happy birthday. That's all I'm taking right now. Let's head to the bar. Yeah, how much are the tickets, man? How much? Mass or tickets? What what section? I got clubs. Oh damn. Next time. Sorry about that. Have a good day. I thought he was gonna give me some bullshit. I got clubs. You wanna get there? It don't work. <laughs> Looking for 50 years.